for God to just walk away from us. It is hard to keep God within our soul if we don't obey him. You got to stop on feet. Railway crossing. Traffic light red. Yeah. God soon be here. When they put that crown of thorn upon your head, that was all of my sinful thoughts that they weighed upon. Sit down in the right in the presence of the Lord. Let us seek for the old path. Let us seek for the old path. Yes, Let us seek yes. for the old path. Yes, Jesus. Yes, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, Jesus.
praise his holy name, giving God thanks for his loving kindness and his tender mercy. At this time, we're going to call all the brothers from Hackney, all the brothers come forward, and we're going to render a song to the church in Jesus' name. All the brothers come forward in Jesus' name.
for his protest and his verdict towards me. Yes. It's been a long time to you know, this talk about day to day realizing it's been a hard and lonesome road. The mountain is high and the valley of the world is for true God. I learned to trust in Jesus and take him at the church. God is such a good God. Amen. I love the Lord because He heard my cry. Amen. The song says He pitied every room. And thank God He heard me in my distress. And we, we, we say all the time that it says, In my distress, I cried unto the Lord and He heard me. And thank God that He heard my spirit cry. The song says, From the waters He lifted me. Now safe am I. And I can sing with an assurance. That love lifted me. Praise the Lord Church. Praise the Lord Church. Praise the Lord and Jesus mighty name. Um, I don't really have much to say, but look at the scripture, looking at the strange wife, and you know, as Munchie was talking yesterday and elaborating, I was looking into myself about the oh. hallelujah. You know, some of us come from different walks of life. Some of us, we met God outside and he brought us in. Yes. And now we're part of a collective, we're part of a body. So that one-to-one -one relationship that we have is, is changed. The criteria has changed. Someone said that we put in the right word. He now expects us to operate as part of a body. He's been given a new role. Yes. And he's not happy and he's not pleased that when our past has given us instructions, we're waiting for him to speak when he's given us a pastor to represent, to take his place and teach to speak through her. So I'm looking at myself about all the times I've been disobedient, I've been rebellious, I'm asking God to help me. So I'm praying that I change in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord, saints. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, Jesus. Praise the Lord. I am thanking the Lord God for his mercies and his grace. Greetings to our mother and pastor in her absence and grief. Love the saints, ministers, officers, visiting ones. I greet you all in the precious name of the Lord Jesus. I am so happy to be one that is in the number. We are still, how sometimes they can get carried away. But from the beginning, the Lord God told the children of Israel, look. I'm going to take you to myself, to be a special people unto me. So the people of God is people of God. Amen. We cannot mix up with the world. Amen. The Lord ever say in your birth, your family, he makes up your family. Who you are to marry and who you are not to marry. Praise the Lord. Praise the people of God, life is different. Amen. And of course, we will stray sometimes. But as we saw, where they came to the realization they are, that they are held, gone into mixed multitude. And so they have to confess, give back. The strange wives with the children along with it. Big sacrifice. But I'm talking the Lord God Almighty that we as people of God, we are different. As I said, you know, in every area of our life, the Lord of our hand and our saying it. Pray the Lord Jesus. And I am here with the fasting to look into myself. Last word to all my brethren. You know, we have a time to fear the Lord up to a point. And it's only take the Father himself to correct us that we can fully fear him. When we fear the Lord, he will guide and protect us. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord, everyone. Praise the Lord, everyone. Praise the Lord. Thanks for allowing me to be here. And I'm starting to get what I have done why I'm here tonight, but because of his grace and then because of his mercy. Amen. Praise be to God.
to God, as Isaiah said in verse one, um, Isaiah 1, verse 8, he said, Come, let us reason together, said the Lord. Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be white as snow. Though they be as crimson, they shall be like this. Praise be to God, as my father, as I said today, that the blood washes white as snow. Praise be to God, it cannot be too far. And the of God can teach him. Romans 1 verse 8 says, Therefore, no, no condemnation will them that are in Christ Jesus. We walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. Praise be to God. As long as we walk after the spirit, praise be to God, we shall be whiter than snow. God bless you. Praise the Lord, church. Praise God. The sign that goes through with us and he's given us a chance to Yes, we all go back to our old days from the beginning to see his face and see him in us so perfect in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Praise God. Amen. Amen. Praise God. 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 Nehemiah, early part of Nehemiah, there's a sequence in which he said we must do the fasting. He said, our first quarter of the day, we must read the scripture. And then the second quarter, we confess our sin. And I was looking at the reflection and I said, read the scripture. Because scripture is a mirror. And I look into it to see my deformities, to see what I need to acknowledge. To see what I need to get rid of, to see what I need to understand. And as I read the other scripture go forth, I see a similar thing happen in Daniel. And in Daniel, he said, How oh, I get it is like he was looking in the world in the mirror and he see the reflection of Jesus, of God. And he said, Righteousness belongeth unto you, Lord. But unto us, when you look at us, because it's all of us sin. When you look at us, he said, Confusion faces. And I pray that when I look into it and I can see it, rebelliousness, I see stubbornness, I see all kinds of things. And I say, Lord, seven days, help me to get it out. And I go back because the word of God is what? When God talks, I say, God talking to me when I'm reading the word. When I'm praying, I'm talking to God. I'm saying, lead me to a scripture. And it was about rebelliousness. And he said, it was the children of Israel, Judah, that were rebellious. But before God punished them, God gave them a warning. And he used an illustration to tell unto them. He said to the prophet, go and get a little girdle. He said, wrap it around your waist. He said, wear it for some time. Don't wash it. After a while, he said, take your little girdle and tell to you free to be found. And he said, very tremendous, a rock. And he said, after many days, he went, he sent back Jeremiah with the prophet, and he said, go back and dig up the linen girdle. And when he dug the linen girdle, he said, look at it. The linen girdle is marred. It is profitable from nothing. And he just showed me that if we rebel, because the little girl that grip around your waist, that's how we must cling to God. And so when you cling to God like that girl, they have no problem. But if you take it off, if you trip from God to go somewhere else, you're going to be profitable for nothing. You're going to be worthless. And I pray to God, whether I'm a church or not, I will take it and cling, because obedience is better than satisfaction. <laughs> Sure, if I could be in this house another time, I'm giving God thanks that I'm alive and well in my right mind. Um, I'm giving God thanks for yesterday um, in fasting. Um, yeah, well, I'm giving God thanks for the change in my life. I'm not where I should be, but I'm giving God thanks I'm not where I was. I was talking to Sister Kadeen yesterday and she said a few things to me, and I was really listening and understanding uh, what she was saying, and I give God thanks for the change. Because I wasn't the way I am now. But there's still a lot more to go. But I'm giving God thanks that um, he's changed me. 
um, and that I'll pray that I'll be more obedient to his yes. voice. So I'm just praying that you'll continue to pray me up while I pray for you in Jesus' name. Yes. 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 Let me go down to this house again. I'm not going to be excellent speech. I don't have time to think about what anybody has to I know what I have to say. But I think I understand begging God to open my understanding yes. and I follow the word. It was left there for us. They're gone. But I have to take heed for myself. I don't know about you, but I know that sometimes in our human frailty, we look at things more human than spiritual. Yes. And when the scripture came forth, and I started to read them, and then sometimes I said, well, Lord, is it this, is it that, or was it those, or was it them, or was it this? And as I went in the scripture, something was revealed to me. In one scripture, it tells of Daniel's vision and the prophetic word that God had given to him. In the next scripture, it is a historical part of the time that they had to spend and those who had taken strange wives. So that it named each individual person and their sons and so forth. And when Brother Stanley was reading it today, some of you might say, well, why do you got to read all these names? And I said to me, the Lord said, for our name is written there somewhere as well. But then we went into Nehemiah. Nehemiah said the same thing, but Nehemiah took a page almost out of Hebrews 11, where I call it the honor roll. Because in Nehemiah, he said all of what God has done for the children of Israel. He delivered them by his mighty hand. He took them to the Red Sea. He gave them a pillar of fire by day, a pillar of fire by night. Amen. And I said, Lord, help me to look within myself Amen. that I won't be like the children of Israel. Amen. And some time ago, I think when we had our business meeting, I brought forth where we always, our foundation is on Acts, the chapter of Acts. But when it gets down to the end, it said that they continued and they are steadfast in the apostles' doctrine, and they held all things in common. Yes. So if we, brethren, held all things common, when one fell, we all fail. So let us pray and strengthen each other. Yes. We all return for brethren, for that we all look for that end. Yes. Press on to the mark of the high calling of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. When I stand in front of of God. But we have to give God time. So no, we are more to live in tonight. Amen. God has done great things for us. But tonight we all can ask God to give us. To give all what we have done. And take heed. Because when I was when I turn the Bible sometimes this week, I think it's easy to tell turn the seven. I was talking about dry bones. Dry bones. If dry bones if we be like dry bones, we cannot make it. Well, brethren, let me try not be like that. Because we know what dry bones mean. But we are giving God thanks tonight. God put something in pasta to give unto us. So we take heed, brethren. Because, as the songwriter says, a mighty, mighty language. We don't reach it yet. But we're still holding on. By the grace and his mercy. Praise the Lord Jesus. Praise the Lord Jesus. I must first for the spirit of God be my pastor at the saints of God in the mighty name of Jesus, our soon coming king. I'm giving God thanks for his loving kindness and his tender mercy towards me. Praise God. Daniel was praying in supplication, right? Seeking God because he knew the release was coming. And if you want the brethren to do the same thing again, because that's what they've been doing. Over and over, like Minister Miller said, Minister Miller said that when, when Jesus come, they destroy Jesus. 
That's the fine. So you have to go back. Before Jesus come, they get the wound in. You have to go back. Before, praise God, <coughs> praise God, praise God. Before the gap of 400 years, the gap of 400 years, then Jesus come. So before the gap of 400 years, they had 70 years in Babylon. Before the 70 years in Babylon, they had the 400 years in Egypt. And all the time, the prophet has been warning. What's happening today is that we are getting the same warning. But we've got to pop up our ideas. Because we know that Jesus is only one step away. One step. You see, like what Minister Miller said earlier on, Jesus is the final straw. And the time now, the time now, the time now is mercy. Mercy. And that's what's happening with us today. Jesus is having mercy upon each and every one of us. Jesus is having mercy upon each and every one of us. He is God Almighty. He knows all the things about each and every one of us. He sees that we are unique and we're coming together and we're being to make heaven our home. But to make heaven our home, the word of God says, no sin, no sin can enter there. So Jesus wants to clean us up. And the way it's clean us up is through the word. that we can be in his house another time that God has spared our lives that we can share our testimonies another time so who will be the first in Jesus name praise God praise God I have bought for the alcoholic manifestations of my year. 
Praise God. Praise, Praise God. God. Praise God. While I was in my home, going right through my area, I have a neighbor who I'm trying to help. I wouldn't call myself a Christian, but I know the Father. Yeah. I know what he's done for me. Yeah. I know what he's brought me through. Until the day I die, I will forever call his name. Amen. And I try to tell this woman, I don't preach God to her, but I tell her. He's the only one that can help me. That's true. In anything, whatever Amen. you're doing, and she's done some wrong. The drinking and the drugs. So did I at one time, mm. but she's still doing it. She can't come on my house, I'm fed up, I tell her, I don't want it no more. The other day, while I'm going through my tears, the sicker cell, the manic depressive, it all hit me at my But see me here. And that woman tries to send me to prison. Mm. She put her hand on me, my own hands. Mm. She mm. And scar me tell her about God and said, try to come to church. Mm. I ain't running you, preaching God this, God that. Mm. That's not for me. Mm. That's not for me. Mm. That's not for me. Preaching God, this God, that, that ain't for me to do. You tell me. Every day you come to see this morning. Oh, I'd like to come to church. I want to. We say, you can go and do your gift. Take your two foot and walk. I'm sick and tired of hearing you. I want to go. I want to go. Amen. She put her hand on me in my own house, but I know why. I the devil. Mm. Him sent her again. He wanted me to do her something. Mm. And I tell her. Thank you. Jesus. Ten years of operating, I will be here. Mm. I'll be in prison. Mm. My house will be a crime scene. Mm. But I tell her, mm. when I'm picking this up, because it's always on my bed, and I'm away, let me say, you see you, you're late. I see you coming before you come. Mm. But this had to happen. Yes. I'm tired of being polite. Jackie, don't come. Hi. But no, it's done. Father, I thank you. Brethren, please pray for me. Yes. When you say it, come in. Yes. Pray for me. Yes. Please, I need it. I like the young brother said, I have a long way to go. But I've come from a long way. Since I was to do it, don't do that no more. Amen. 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 Please pray for me. Pray for me. Thank you, Lord. Any more testimonies? Praise God. I just want to thank God for the Lord. I give God thanks that couple months back, I think that my teacher was in the front. And I give God thanks that when the brethren that prayed for me, and they said, give me advice what to do. And thank God I can not really move that strong as before, but thank God I still can move on. Yes. 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 Little by little, and I give him time to pray. Let's pray the Lord. Let's pray the Lord. Praise God. 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 When I look back over my life, when I look where God has brought me from, Amen. He has brought me from a mighty long way. Amen. He has been my shelter. Amen. He has been my keeper. Amen. He has been my comfort. Amen. And my desire is to press forward in Jesus' name. Amen. Down on my knees, when trouble rise, I talk to Jesus.
Tonight, having by the word of God from Paul, I salute you in Jesus' name. Cause I'm, amen. Because I'm a soldier. Amen. I'm a soldier in the army. Praise God. Praise God. And I will fight till I die. Amen. I never run away. Amen. I'm thanking God for being me thus far. 
I would know that I'd be standing here tonight. Praise God, but in February, because of all what I've been through, sickness and everything, what does I give God the glory? Amen. I am thanking that He's a good God. Amen. And when you put your trust in God, Amen. when you fear Him, He'll see you through. There comes a time to trust. Pastor always says, Time is only you and the Lord. Yes. Bless the name of Jesus. I'd rather say, I cried unto the Lord. Yes. And He heard me. Yes. And He delivered me. So tonight I want to continue doing this fasting that God will do something for me. Amen. Both natural and spiritual. And he's been doing it, praise God. Even yesterday, the healing service. I'm looking to the Lord that he will continue Amen. in my strength. Amen. Praise, Jesus. The Lord, Jesus. Praise, praise the Lord Jesus. Praise the Lord Jesus. Praise the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. We serve a great and wonderful Lord. Amen. He's always victorious. He's always watching over us. I want God greeting our pastors, officers and saints, visiting friends, greetings in Jesus' name. I don't know why I start here this day, somebody come to me to say, God is a Amen. I grew up with six brothers. Six brothers and the only girl. And God is a I grew up and I know my father always smoked. That's a new one. So my elder brother, the second one, you know, I remember the term I'm smoke, but I know they call it a baby. So because I grew up seeing that, it was an easy thing to say my father would take a piece of brown paper. You know when you get the, the, the sugar butter shop? And then you work on peace and uh, I know how to roll a stick. I know to Praise God. So because I saw Papa always smoking, I remember one particular day he left me there with my two younger brothers. And he said he's going into Mandible. So we had a church tree. I you know when the church tree tried, when the friend is up, the leaf looked like pastor. So I got a piece of brown paper and I rolled myself a screen with the church tree. And I sat there and I took the fire and I light it up. And when I light it up, and when I hear it, the sound cough. And it's pure smoke, because when you light it, it's pure smoke. And while I did the draw, and when the smoke faded, Papa was standing in front of me. Remember, he left the bottom of anything, but I'm showing you how good God is. God let him turn back. And when you smoke fear bedroom, and when I look at a star papa, mm -hmm. know some dead. <laughs> and he did give it to me. He gave it to me proper. But you know what that allowed? I never smoke. I never do it again. I can roll this thing, or I never smoke. I'm giving God thanks. Because some people start with just one cigarette at a time. They start with the first puff of marijuana and they can't stop. But because I saw my father done it and my brothers went with it, I thought it was something that I could do. But I'm giving God thanks that he didn't let me do it. Remember another time again I went to school. I'm telling you, God is a good God. And as mom said, God no steps are um, you know, safe. Nobody needs it at this church. I was going to school and this girl took it up on her side to say certain things and would repeat it because it's not good to repeat it. And when she said that to me, brethren, I come a school. And when I went on the school and started liquor in her head, the mean said, me not see no bad thing, me just a hit her and hit her and me hit her. When I come to myself, it's a poor playground around me. You know when you're fighting, everybody else. And when I broke my eyes, pure blood. And I remember the principal took me to his office. And those times in Jamaica, you get to have a meeting. And principal walked us. Let you stretch out your hand and you know, hit him again. He's over here. Yeah. And when I stretch out my hand and he beat me and he beat me and he beat me. He said to me, Solomon. He said, yes, sir. He said, tell me what was going on. He said, no, sir. He said, I'm sending you home for two weeks. 
The problem is that for two weeks is to tell my mom I get suspended. Mm -hmm. And when I went home, I couldn't say nothing, Reverend. Mm -hmm. I washed me, I care what, I keep me as clean and everything mama want to be done. But she knew something was wrong. <laughs> so when it come up to the first week now, I heard her say, mm -hmm. and she don't say nothing more. When it hit the second week, and I want to say, Mama, can you take me back to school? I don't know how to say. So when you come down to the Friday, I did everything with the house. And I said, Mama, she said, yes. I said, can you take me back to school? She paused, and she took me back to school. And give me God thanks that the girl didn't die. Amen. Every God is a good God. I'm giving God thanks because probably I would be in prison or something that happened. What I'm saying, brother, a lot of us in here can get up and say what we were. We're not what we're supposed to be, but we are getting there. My desire is not to go back from us, but to continue to trust and fight to God and to live for Him who died for me. God bless you. Praise God. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. As we are the glory of the great things he has done. Amen. There is too many miles behind us. Too many trials have been through. Amen. But you know what? I've come this far. Yes. A final part with God. Amen. And I mean to go on. Amen. Comes what may. I've made up my mind Amen. to go on with Jesus. Amen. You pray for me as I pray for you all in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Cheers! 
Jesus. Yes, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, Jesus. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, Jesus. Giving God thanks for the touch. Praise God. Prayer up in Jesus' name. Praise God. 
But at this time, I believe that Brother Marlon has a testimony. Jesus. That he can say his testimony in Jesus' name. Praise God. His loving kindness and his tender mercy. Praise the Lord Jesus. We are giving God thanks 
for his loving kindness and his tender mercy. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. The blood that Jesus shed for me.
for that beautiful song in Jesus' name. And at this time, we call Brother Dave. Come and exalt the church in Jesus' name. Brother Dave, come and exalt the church in Jesus' name. Wash me in the blood of the Lamb, and I shall be one.
praise him. Praise the Lord Jesus. Praise the Lord Jesus. Praise the Lord Jesus. Praise the Lord Jesus. Bless all the name of Jesus. I give honor to the Spirit of God. My mother and pastor, the ministers, evangelists, house of the faith. In the mighty name of Jesus. Giving God thanks that he has allowed me this opportunity. One more time to be in his holy tabernacle. To stand before his holy people. Nothing good that I have done but because of the love of God. That's how I'm alive and well tonight. I was sitting over there and I'm, so much thing going through my mind while I was sitting there. I was singing all the songs and everything was going on. And I was just saying to myself while I was sitting there, I was like, God, <clears throat> your only place is not for us to speak what we think or what, how we feel. But things were just going over in my mind and I'm reminiscing of the good old days. I was sitting there and I'm going to be honest with you, I didn't want to come up here. I didn't. I did not want to come up here. I was reminiscing of the good old days. And if you might not know, I've been here for coming up to 30 years now. I've been in this house. I came in as a young man. And I'm still a young man, but I've been here 30 years. <laughs> Whiter than snow. Whiter than snow. Father, we have wandered far from thee. Often as my heart, our heart gone astray. That's why we turn to faces of confusion. That is why we have turned to faces of confusion. And I was sitting and I'm saying, God, anoint my pastor. Like I used to say, sit down, you know, right in the presence of the Lord. I was saying that in my heart. Yes, you might be saying there's other people bridging that are filled, but we've got a leader. There's an hierarchy that you have to follow. And there's certain things that I cannot do, even though I might be filled with all of something the evangelist cannot do. There's certain things that a pastor can do. I was sitting there and I was just thinking, I'm like, I was reminiscing of the good old days. When our pastor received the Holy Ghost the right and proper way, when those who know the Holy Ghost receive the Holy Ghost the right and proper way. I don't have no doubt. I might have strayed, but I don't have no doubt that God came in my heart when my heart was white, tight and snow. And I know that I was filled with the power of the Holy Ghost. And every day that I live, I try to let the Holy Ghost remain. Because it's easy for God to just walk away from us. It is hard to keep God within our soul if we don't obey him. Just doubting can make God walk away from us. Just lying can make God turn from us. We think of the big things so many times. But all sin is sin before the almighty God. And I saw a pastor sang the song whiter than snow. I'm standing, I'm saying, God, whiter than snow. We know when God came in our heart, when we were filled with the Holy Ghost, we had to be white then for him to come in. Because he don't go into dirty vessel. But what did we do after that? What did I do after that? To let him go from us that we come to confusion of faces. Brethren, myself included, God is real. God is real. Hell is real. That's right, mom. Hell is real. And the, the, the devil make us having me, us going in a direction. And we're seeing we're not getting no problem. Nothing, everything's just going fine as we want it to go. And we pray for this and, and we say, God, give it to us. But sometimes we can be pestering God for something and he give it to us upon the loss of our heart to be a thorn in our flesh. So don't think the devil is not smart and wise. It is God in us that help us to have the spiritual eyes to see beyond him. But if we don't have God to make our spiritual eyes be open, he will continue to lead us. And we think he's God. And we're following 
As our pastor said, that God, you give me all these things. Is it pain? You're paying me off. Because we're thinking that we're going the path that God wants us to go. We're thinking, yes, I'm not doing this, I'm not doing that. But is God walking with us? Let us seek for the old path. Let us seek for the old path. Yes, I am guilty of a lot. Because I've been here 30 years. And, and I cannot be satisfied. I, I am not contented with what's going on. Holy Ghost from heaven come down within. And he speak through us. Not of emotion, saints of God. Not because evangelists might move, I think I have to move. Not because a pastor moving, I'm going to try to catch some of her and, and, and to work myself up. Let's get back to the reality, saints. Because we can't do all of that here. You might be fooling some, but you're not fooling a lot. I'm talking to myself as well. I'm not pointing no finger at anybody. I'm talking to myself. Because when we die, the shake up that we're shaking up, can it rise us upon that last and final day? When death has hold us tight. And the sin that we have committed yeah. have wrapped us up. Yeah. If it's not holiness, that holiness has wrapped us up. Yeah. We're going to be bound and bound into the lake of fire. Yeah. Where the worm die at not. The fire is not quenched. Yeah. I think about it sometimes because sometimes it's just a little heat when you're cooking and your hand get over the stove. Yeah. And how that feel. Yeah. And you're going to be in everlasting. We're going to be in everlasting torment. Yeah. But the worm diet not. I think about it all the time. I think about it all the time. And that's why the devil is trying to stop us, saints. That's why he's trying to make us be disobedient. He's trying to make us slip up. He's trying to make us go against God. That's why. Because he wants us to be bound in the lake of fire with him. Hell, hell wasn't made for us. Hell wasn't, wasn't made for no human being. But for the devil and his angels. Amen. But we choose to go there. I choose to go there. But my aim and my desire saints. Our aim and our desire. Let us not go to hell with Satan. Amen. But let us ask God to help me. To help us. That our hall would be laid on the altar. Sacrifice day. Amen. That we get back to knowing who God is. Amen. That our heart would yearn after him. Amen. That our mind would yearn after him. It's not only when we come in church, we're seeking and want to cry out because we're in front of our brethren. No, we have to seek God way before them. We have to, if when you're hungry for something, you seek for, just like you're taking exams. They told you when the exam's going to be like in, in July and you start studying from January. You're up all night. People tend to go to bed, but you're studying because why? You've got to aim to pass. You've got to aim to get to the top, to get the best. Do the same thing for the Holy Ghost. That's why you don't sleep. Do the same thing for righteousness. Do the same thing to get God in my heart, in your heart. Because I do remember that I miss those days. And I said, God, take me back to the place where I first received you. Take me back. Because I remember after I got baptized in 1990, I said, God, I don't want to be in church a long time before I receive the Holy Ghost. Because I don't know it like that. When I brought up in Jamaica, even as a young child, as my mother, I was always one to sit and observe what was going on. And I see, I see sinners, I see dread, walk up, get baptized, feel the Holy Ghost at the same time. So I said, God, I don't want to be in church long. So I seek day in, day out, night after night. I was fasting, I was praying. And then into conversations. I block it off. I don't want to hear it sometime. My brother Vivian used to laugh at me and try to provoke me because I, I had a deserve, determination. I set my mind because I, got, I said, God, I have to get you in my heart. And three months later, God filled me with the Holy Ghost. That is where I want to get back to to that yearning, to that hunger, to that thirsty. And that is where we have to get to, saints of God. That is where we have to get to. And after this fasting, if we lay it all, including myself, the anointing, the showers, the blessing will fall afresh upon each and every one. Because I don't believe, I don't believe that everybody that's sitting here today 
And everyone that is hearing my voice that walked through this door yes. want to go to hell. Yes. No. no. Nobody may want to go to hell. Amen. So let us do what it takes to make heaven our home. Saints of God, please, I beg you, please, keep me in your prayers. Yes. Because I need your prayer. God bless you. In Jesus' name. For brother Dave and those encouraging words. Praise God. And at this time, we'll call Brother Adrian. Come and exalt the church in Jesus' name. Brother Adrian. Thanks for allowing me to be in his house one more time. Amen. Giving him thanks for sparing my life one more time. Amen. No, as I was sitting there, as Reverend Dave was saying, I was thinking to my own self as well. And I said, God, I thank you. Yes. You know why I say I thank you? Because I was thinking of the crucifixion. Yes. And I said to myself, yes. every nail that they drove in his hand, yes. I said, God, that was my wicked ways. Yes. And I was thinking to myself, yes. and I said, God, when they put that crown of thorn upon your head, yes. that was all of my sinful thoughts Amen. that they weighed upon you. Look at that, Lord. Look at that. You have saved my life. And look at me today. I said, God, God, help me. Help me, Lord. You know, it's all nice to come in. But when you sit down and have a reality check within yourself, is God really happy with me? Amen. With me as an individual? Amen. And I said, God, I've done this, and I've done this, and I've done this, and I've done this. And I said, God, I don't want it to be in vain why you saved me. I don't want it to be in vain, Lord. 
fasting. I said, God, I'm begging you to draw me closer and closer. Amen. So when the ship leaves the dock, I will be on board. Amen. That I won't be left behind still on the dock, waiting when the ship has already left. I said, God, help me. Because I know within myself where I have gone wrong Hallelujah. with God. And it's only me can make it right with God. Regent, I don't want to come in and pretend with nobody. Amen. And God knows the depths of my heart. Yes. I would only make a fool of myself. And then I start to think of the wickedness that I have done. And God has pardoned me. Praise. And yet still, within my own ways, God has brought me to a place now and show me myself. As what Brother Dave said, hell is real. He saved my soul. From going to hell, only to know I'm heading in that direction. Same way. I don't know for you, but I know for me. Where I want to go and where I need to be. I've made up my mind a long time. I didn't even sing a song. Because I said to myself, God, I've made up my mind. That I must follow you. I've been to death doors many times. And God has spared my life. So for that reason tonight, brethren, I just want to make my wrongs right before the Lord and continue to press my way. You pray my strength in Jesus' name. Those simple things that I once knew The memories of me
praise his holy name. Praise God. Could we remain standing? Praise God. I have great pleasure and to the rest of the service to our mother and pastor, Pastor Ian Douglas, to the church in Jesus' name. Thank you, honey. Thank you. Amen. Amen. You see what I'm saying? And the first thing we are to do, examine ourselves. Because they were in the same possession, yet they couldn't see themselves. And so it's like that they're pointing that you commit fornication. But they're not sister them teeth. The point out adultery these days is the extra now. But God said adultery and liar going to hell. Lie. All adulterers, fornicators, thieves, covetous, deceit, rich girl. Am I lying? And all the large and free yes. And the capitalists in witchcraft them. Like when I with that. So when the woman was staying in the ark and they thought they were okay, we never get a physics of it would come anything else I'll say. And they thought they were right because according to the law, we say the Bible. According to the law, anybody commit that most dead. And them carrying to the right person because he should have known better. So it, they bring her to him. So him will give the verdict. So they were looking for him to say stone her to death. But God of wisdom. God in his mercy. God that love beyond all lovers. God love no have no loss in there. Hey! God love is pure. God responds for us. No, you're no response for me. I'm in a response for you. When God put me in and my father back to my mother, uh, only God Almighty could have do that. Um, give my mother that, that whatever in her and water inside of her. And that become blood and ears and nose and every different private. And it's strange sometimes. The God Almighty that came here and shed his precious blood for our wickedness. And some of us not serving him, but he no kill us. They wanted God to tell them to kill her. You see that? That's men. Even when the woman was sick and she came and said, if I could just touch you. And she nailed down and touched Jesus. Hey! And when Jesus says, somebody touch me. Them think them holy more than Jesus Christ. And them tell him off. So crowd is here. And you mean say you are up. You see people bright. Not him God they no fear. Long time. They won't take God to tell them to kill her son or to death for she wrong. But God, they have a life conscience. God said, anybody know her known sin? You first care sister. God tell me that. Me no one tell you, say. But what me know. God is almighty. God almighty Jesus Christ is a merciful God. 
And God said, judge nothing before the time. Leave our judgment to him. I wish she hear no, no. I hear so me get this. Amen. Amen. So, everybody in here, we can sing for we know we fall. I know your fault and my fault and them fault and nobody fall. The song said nobody fall but mine. He said if I should die and my soul shall be lost. Nobody fall but mine. For nobody no follow me up and down with me there. Nobody on the phone. Nobody in my bedroom. Nobody on holiday. Nobody in my car. Nobody know. And some dream and I like. They have it in their mind long time or champagne. And all in a sudden, that's why the woman backs one of them in the church. The woman dream and come to church, she come rebuke her. It's you, my sister-in-law, tell me they're here they now. And she said, Pastor, talk to her. Because here he says, I'm Pastor. He said, Pastor, me say, talk to her. And she go plan for what? Right in the church, says the pastor. Me did tell you if you talk to her. Sometimes some people are come chat nonsense. In your years, well, you want to run them. The Bible says you don't know yourself. When they want God Almighty to kill the woman, he died that we should live. He shed his precious blood for all of us. And that's why he said, whosoever willing, willing, now he fools you and tell you how often you have to. He said, whosoever willing to follow God, you see what I mean? Follow his betrayal, his despise, his insult, the hits, the rejection, and all the habits that we did. That is following him. Yes, that is Amen. Follow him with the cross that he carry. Follow him for the people that he fed and look after and they say away with him. Follow him like that. Hey! Amen. You see what I'm saying? So when we want to kill somebody, Jesus said no. The word of God said Jesus said yes. When Jesus said yes, the devil can't say nothing. And none of us in here tonight cannot lift a finger and point to none. That's why we must point in our own hearts. Because if we die tonight, only me and God. There was a, I think it was 1,000. When they said, Judge, I told us, holy people come to us. Because they say at the end of the world now. A 2004 is it? 20. And then full of the restroom. But somebody was at them house. And they tell me, me eat off the whole of my chocolate. <laughs> me eat off the whole of my chocolate. Because me know so me going to go. And one of them said, me say, me said, God, uh, me and you in here tonight. So whatever we do it. No matter what, no matter how, God never save we. God save me. God save you. So whatever we say, we got to say us. Let us turn. Let us examine ourselves. That person did have, they have a, what you said, conscience. And that's why they said, I feel. No, we. I feel. That I'm so far from you now. Amen. But yet, I hear you telling me, say, with all of that, take up your cross and follow like me. With all what was happening, and I gave them life, I gave them everything. They reject me, but I carry the cross. So I'm saying, with all what you're going through, it's good that you're going through it and you want. You know why you overcome? Because you're here tonight. Amen, then when Satan get proper, them don't come to church. Amen. But as long as you come in here or any church, Amen. Satan lose again. Amen. 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 So God is telling you and I, 
take up our cross. Amen. For you know anything heavy, anything hurt you, anything make you want to backslide. It's a cross. Amen. But when you overcome that, victory shall be mine. Amen. Amen. So don't watch the noise. Don't watch the crowd. Don't watch the movement. Don't watch how somebody do a their business that. Are you one of one of the box? I'm the one. Somebody was singing back home. So and so have a have a home. And nobody can wind him one. You remember that song? Yes, it's a private room. Why me say? It's a private room. He said nobody not going anything. Yes, it's a private room. And, and it's the last address. Yes. Not moving. Stay there for good. Yes. But that address then no move. Yes. And nobody not going in there. Yes. That box. So you see, when we come in a church, we don't come to them examine and look who this and who that. Is their business that? Yes. God said the wheat and the tears are to grow. Yes. He said some is foolish and some is wise. Yes. The day of reckoning, I don't want to be the foolish. No. I don't know about you, yes. but we want to examine yes. ourselves tonight yes. and see if judgment come now. Would we be ready? If we just speak in tongues, when we don't speak, do we malice? Do we revenge? Do we duck and dive? Are we speaking tongues? Let us look in ourselves. If we fill with the Holy Ghost, Christ in us, a hope of glory. We don't wait till born to see you down and backslide. We don't wait and say, shut me mouth and fold me lip. But when you get up, me, I praise God. God no hear me. Hypocrisy. Hypocrites. God, God Almighty accepts sinner. God Almighty accept all the wicked people them. God died for them. And when, when God ready, if they come in here and go to another church, you don't see God save them. The brother was saying that in olden days, uh, uh, Rasta walking to church. Me remember, right to him. I soon tell it, please. Him is in Trelawney. Rasta going there and then sing. The man say, We need to get back. All of us. We will we'll have too much Bible. I like to tell one another what to do. We have a way like to give orders. All when God not give us nothing to say, we find something. We go and pray. Huh? We go and beg God to have mercy on the whole of us. We go and beg God, you hear words, tell it, you take it for nothing now. My cousin this said to my auntie in law, beat me anywhere you want to beat me now. Anybody can beat me. Why? Because she beat the child on the street. And everybody see. So because she shame and she shame up, shame up the child. She said, Mommy, anybody can beat me now. For everybody now. That's one of my cousins. Little one. She, she's 60 now. She was thrown. So if we show up ourselves at work, on the street, and hide, duck, and dive, and do what we want to do, God can show us up. There was somebody that were duck and diving. And take out him, him woman, and he was in church. I tell you before. And they wait and leave from Battersea, so nobody know no peer. So, and they leave from Battersea, drive her out. And when he come up here, he crash. Him dead. And she's still alive. So when we are duck and dive, nobody upset yourself when somebody find out. Just take it cool and stop. If you know that God not prove of me, no check me, check you. I'm not checking you. I'm checking if God approve of me. Is my coming in vain? If I die now, would I end up with them other people who are me not doing what they're doing? We got to think. We got to think. This one here different from the one you used to go. This one here different. You got to stop and think. Railway crossing. 
traffic light red. Help! God soon be here. Are you ready? Everybody can speak Bible. Everybody can give exhortation. Everybody can sing. They can sing. Are you said they can sing? They don't wear any of them. What are they doing? In counseling. Then what am I doing? They're not laughing. What do oh, you mean in counseling? They're singing. <laughs> they don't understand. You know what I mean? <laughs> then what the person doing? You said they're coughing. They can't sing. Then what am I doing? Come on here. Then can't cook. Then what am I doing then? What them doing? Come on here. If we are looking in our life, how oh, we want cry for we I want. If we want ball out loud, nobody business. Everyone prostrate, fall at the altar, nobody business. Everyone jump all over the church, nobody business. Because it's me and God. Take me back. Something wasn't there at all, so there's nothing to go back to. Far from number one, there wasn't you. So ask him to take you there now. Yes. Not, we had to ask him to take us back if we were there. Take me back we was. But if we wasn't there, we had to get there. Amen. God bless you, somebody. I'm glad that you are here. Amen. And we now have to shout and a clap hand and a go on like say. And I tell you all, I um, won't repent. I don't have time for nonsense. No. You said, I come too far. I come too far to what? For what? I come too far to turn back. Not because me, I will. For some old people now, you know them age, you know. You never know. Them things that they might eat. So now the age, age no talk. Somebody tell me say age is on paper. Then I want to show up them age. But if God don't eat on anybody, young or middle age, no matter age, and the devil that rise up and do what he do. So we're going to change. Amen. We're going to make up our mind. The word of God say, I made up my mind, not yours. You make up your mind yourself. I'm in a quarreling with you. I'm in a going vex with you. And I force so you. Have, you know half free. And when Jesus Christ says you will, I'm here to tell you half free. And you half free. Come on. No. No, 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 no. God said, if you're willing, brother. He leave it. He said, whosoever willing. Let that person take up your sorrow and your pain and your heartache and your despise and your rejection and your told off and whatever. And he said, follow him because he's been there. Amen. So it's a willing service. We're going to start. We don't come here if we come jump from tick up and go upon the, upon the media. When we come in the house of God, we come to hospital. When you see some people feel bad and feel upset and whatever and the night. Somebody should be there as a nurse to yes. nurture. Amen. Now tell them off and rough them up and put them down. When they come to the hospital, and some of them give you a bad injection and kill you. You don't want to come back and own church and kill your spirit. They give you an injection to make you dead. Help! We need to give strength. Courage. Comfort. Amen. Give life and not death. Amen. 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 We shall stand yes. before the king. Yes. You know, I said before, me, I mean, I said before you neither. Because Bishop God and Bishop Walker, dead long time. And Bishop God, when I came here, I stayed in a one shot all over the place. They gone. And you know for yourself, don't make your father and your mother spirit in you. You don't come because your mother and your father tell you. You don't come because pastor said so. No, no, go so. You don't come because my mother go and tell me of. If you're dead, you want to hell. It don't make sense. 
Be room come because they're going to ask for me. Why well, then can't tell the ask for that? Good luck. Amen. You see what I'm saying? But when you think of hell for you, I know you know where I'm going to you see what I'm saying? Some might choose to go to hell and you can't help them because they make up their mind and their movement tell you. And they are the ones to stumble you. Because this one, when she kill her baby and she a bad mind and covetous, she want to kill the other woman baby. Help! So when you see they want to kill you and pour you out and you mustn't testify enough to worship God and they make sure stand in your way. You gotta say, mountain, move. Hey, move and go yonder. The blood of Jesus. And you have to be strong in the Lord. Not in rebelliousness and fight. You got to humble yourself. The word of God says, humble yourself. And who? The Lord will draw near you. Humble yourself and walk with God. God do not walk with the proud. You see what I'm saying? So when God in our life, we love everybody. We care for everybody. Even on the street. And you see, see them people doing what they have to do. They're right. But you want to see them to do? See them, see them. But you want them to save and baptize and then come to church. Yeah. You want to take out them cigarette out of them out. You're right. But you want them because bad one and do what they have to do. When they come to Jesus Christ, they will change when they're ready. Amen. By bit by bit, it's not an overnight thing. Amen. It's bit by bit. Amen. God going to bless somebody in here tonight. Amen. God is going to strengthen somebody in here tonight. Amen. God going to deliver me, believe it. Amen. God going to deliver somebody in here tonight. Amen. Amen. God is going to give you the victory. Amen. Hey. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, God said, rise up and walk. Why? Because you put your trust in God. Remember alone. Sometimes you are alone. Remember him. Alone. Alone. He suffered. He bleed and died alone. To do what? To set me free. God bless you. God bless you. God strengthen you. God give you grace. That when you go home tonight, you kneel down, you know, put on television. You cannot come from church and God in a seat. Satan can entertain and kill what inside of you. You don't know, put on on telly. You come from church, open your Bible, pray on God, you bed. Or if you want something to eat, it's up to you. But you know, put on television for Satan to entertain you. And you're just coming from church. No way. You got your bed with peace in your heart. God bless you, somebody. God bless you. In Jesus' name. Anybody have a song that we could sing and we close? Oh, well, we're going to play one. Let, we're going to pray. Pray for yourself. Probably God no one know. You're going to stand up on your feet and hold on to the bench. I know take care of that bit for Satan and make you sit down there. Him not rule me and me rule him. Him not, care, him not come and me take, me take this here. If him, if him thinks I'm not have me there of a lie, stop me, I tell you. He want me to sit down all the time. He say, you turn there. You turn there. If me sit down all the time, I have to sit down all the time. All in, I have to sit down. I can go to hell. Go We're going to pray for ourselves. Pray for yourself, brethren. All in us on April coming up. We have me pray a long time again. So I don't know where we're come up. I don't know what they're going to come put on us now. So I'm praying ahead a long time for that. And I'm praying that we don't give in to Satan. Seducing so demons. And bow. Because the Hebrew children, they never bow. They hold out. So you're not depending on mother, father, son, nor holy ghost. Sister, Sister Celeste, Sister Celeste come to my bishop back home. And she said to Bishop Walk, Bishop, I come to the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. That meaning come to the children, the man him. I come to the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. But we have Jesus. 
We don't come to each other. We come to encourage and to strengthen more. At what you have already, and you come to strengthen me. I'm come to encouraging you to hold out, and you encourage me to hold out. The word of God says, when we all, somebody no selfish, when we all get to heaven. What? Uh? All of us, you know. Pray and pray. Pray for your strength. Pray for grace. Amen. Somebody you want to shout and carry on and carry on holy panizing at the place. I don't hear nothing. This is serious. You don't know what you're going to face next week. You don't know what you're going to face tomorrow. You don't know. We don't know what's coming up in a march or whenever they want to bring out the man clean something. So we have to strong. We must look ahead. Amen. Amen. You know, see if you open your home, what will happen to you? Hey, brother Dave. You have to start save up and put away for rainy day. I used to go and get a shock. If government no help you and they're not going all the time. What will happen? You, have, you know I'm saying that to say this. That means we are storing up to meet the taste. Amen. Amen. God said if the foot too, that the foot man mean me. Two foot. Two me. If the foot man weary you. Yes. One, somebody just upset you, you know, but I want to see you. You don't want to come to no church. Then what about two? Four foot no. <laughs> you say, if one let you feel like, then what about four? Amen. So we can't afford to be we. We can't kind of lean in and we're leaning on Jesus. We're not leaning on you, leaning on me. We're leaning on Jesus. So pray for yourself. When you're at work, nobody no pray for you. When you're in the house, nobody no pray for you. When you test it and try, nobody not do every brave for you. So everybody can pray for themselves. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, of Nazareth, Father, we are praying for strength, grace, courage, endurance, boldness, that we not sin against you. Father, that whatever trial, whatever test, whatever the pain or sorrow, give us grace. Father, for we don't know what we're going to face. Father, the word says, I don't know about tomorrow. Lord, God, we don't know. But God, we are praying ahead for every one of us. May you care for every one of us. You love every one of us. You die for all of us. We have no, no height. More than anyone, hell shall be your doom or heaven. I pray for grace and courage, boldness and endurance, a power over all weakness, cover us under your blood. And Lord, when we leave from here, we leave with grace. Cover everyone, 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 everyone. Let no demons, no darkness, no destruction come upon none of us. Fight our battle. Lord, rise out up and let us stand. And that will change. Oh, Lord. Revive us again. Come in our life, in our mind and soul. And give us a heart to trust you more. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. Bless them, Lord. Our, our fathers. Our father and our family one. See, some people think God only belongs to them. But it's our Father. All of us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy will be done on earth as it is. Like that. Like that. Jesus. Thine. The power. Forever. Amen.